Ghana has been producing oil for almost 10 years now and one of the pillars of Ghana's success in the oil industry has been its ability to set up a legal framework to govern the utilization of oil revenue. So in 2011, Ghana passed what we call the Petroleum Revenue Management Act. And in essence, what the act sought to do was to ensure that we can better manage the oil resources and to avoid what has become uh, a curse for many uh, countries in the world. So we're making a conscious effort to assess what the situation has been and to see how into the future we will be able to structure uh, the utilization of oil revenues to also impact uh, persons with disability. A GSPD together with the Ghana Standards Authority developed some accessibility standards which in a long way would help solve this problem. But I, I bet you they, they are not being adhered to. Even though those standards are there, we, we have had a pilot uh, projects in some of the areas. But still, when you go to those areas and you see buildings that are built just recently, you realize that uh, they didn't adhere to, uh, I mean, those standards. This document was launched somewhere last year by the his Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. And this was packaged by the Ghana Standards Authority. If you look at the National Disability Act or the Disability Act 715, it also gives the mandate that buildings, be it private or government owned, it should be accessible for persons with disabilities. People ignore this. It makes us difficult in accessing some important services. In a modern structure like this, all contractors have to provide walkways for disabled. Now, when they are assessing the blocks, they have easy, easy access to the offices. So, all these blocks we see here, we have the disabled provisions made for the structures. The administration block is having his, the laboratory as well, the classroom blocks, and then the dormitory. They all have the disabled access. For the top, they don't have any work doing there. Everything will be done on the ground floor for disabled. The design for the administration block is for them to assess everything on the ground floor, where their offices, payment, and all that will be assessed. For the first floor, they don't have anything to do there. That is why it wasn't designed for them to go to the first floor. If you want to talk to the boss, you need to be carried or backed by somebody to get to his office because it's on a storage building and it doesn't have lift, neither a ramp. was built last year. It was commissioned last academic year. The ramps is the only thing with the ramps is that it's steeper. So you need you need to you need a little bit force before you can a disability person can have access to the class. It is very difficult to enter because if the wheelchair is not raised, it cannot push you. What we were not monitoring. So what do we saw is that they finish the building, everything and hand over to us. But we cannot tell uh, whether they finish it before doing it or uh, because when they were doing it, sometimes we were not in school. We are I only suggest that they should look for a technical person anytime they are going to work. And then they should let supervisors come and then assist the contractors during the Building of any structure they are going to put on. In terms of accessing some services and buildings in the country, it is very difficult because, in terms of construction, we persons with disabilities are not consulted. And based on that, our needs are always not factored in. 
East Finale Chips founded to Ghana Health Service. We started the work, that was November, 5th November 2016. A structure had been given to us to serve the community of Tunaini, Baumo, and then part of Gumani. But the building, even though it's well structured, but we have some disability friendly, which some of them cannot get easily access to the facility. Uh, it's not comfortable for them assessing the facility, just because they can't have the, their way out. So if a structure like this is not so friendly, we are depriving them from uh, having a, the health service, which is not uh, right. It is not by any fault of theirs that anybody uh, within that community is disabled. And therefore the duty on all of us, um, civil society, government, business, uh, is to ensure that we can also account uh, for the interests of persons uh, with disability. This really calls on all of us to ensure that in project delivery, uh, in monitoring, and also selection of contractors to deliver these projects that are funded with public resources, we do uh, what is needful to ensure that they are delivered to specification. And we have quality contractors who can actually uh, provide the infrastructure that can be utilized by persons uh, with disability. We also see the natural resources as an opportunity and relevant source of revenues for us to begin to provide infrastructure uh, that will support this community that is really marginalized uh, in our society.